Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your 8-8 portal reading. And this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Always take what resonates and then always head over and watch your other readings like your Rising, Moon, and Venus sign readings for additional clarity, especially if it falls within Leo. Because obviously this is during Leo season, so it's going to be very powerful for you guys that have Leo in your chart also. Even if it's in Jupiter, watch the Leo reading if you have Leo in your chart. And if nothing else, I'm going to put like a little post up on um, YouTube about the 8A portal. Take eight minutes a day from here on out and meditate or pray. Think about what you truly want to come to fruition in goals and in desires from this portal to the next portal and for your future here on out. Manifest the changes that you want in your life, the relationships that you want in your life, and the new beginnings that you want in your life. Treat it like it's already there, but take eight minutes a day. If you got a couple minutes before bedtime and when you awake, journal your dreams and journal your um, what you want to happen. Pay attention to synchronicities during this time. If you don't know what all of them mean, I have had a few people reach out to me asking me what certain things mean. I will always do research. I've been where you're at. And do I manifest too? Oh, yeah. And do I meditate? Not like I should, but yes. Since I've started YouTube, I've do have a full-time job. And then I do do personal readings on Etsy. So I manifest when I can, but before I was go before all this and during my spiritual awakening, I manifested every day, multiple times a day. All right, the old vision. You are going to leave here right now what is no longer meant for you. If you think back and forth on a relationship, you know, it's just not, they don't give me what I want. I give them so much. Or, you know, why, it, whatever is not meant for you, journal it and write it down. But allow this new beginning to start for you. Allow this new passionate beginning to start. Even if you are in a career and you're feeling like blah, and you want to start something where it brings more passion to you. There might be something that you're very good at. Allow it to take place. Even if you just make a plan for it to eventually begin. See where it leads. Allow that time in your life for this new passion to start. For those of you in a connection, you might be leveling up to an engagement. To finally setting the date to moving into one with one another. But there's leaving, you know, what's been stagnant and allowing a brand new beginning to start. And what you're gonna keep is that transformation within yourself. Allow transformation to happen. Allow endings to happen. Allow the lesson to move with through you, even if it devastated you, the ending. Learning and allowing the struggles to happen within you makes you a stronger person, makes you see what you don't want in your life ahead. Allow that transformation to happen. Allow that total overhaul to happen. And release who truly didn't put you first, who truly doesn't see you as a priority. Follow your heart but also go with your gut instincts. Follow your heart in whatever you move forward towards. For some of you, you might not know, you might know that something's not for you. You love the person, you love the situation to death, but you just got that feeling that they're not who you're supposed to be with. They're not your end all be all. Then why are you doing it? I get because you love them, but if you don't see them here moving forward, you're 
Just set the bar right for yourself. Follow your heart. Follow what you feel passion for. But you want to know that it's also reciprocated. And a new vision right here. Emotionally. Emotionally grounded. Head, heart, balance. See what I mean? Go with what you're... Follow your heart. But don't allow people to walk all over you. Head, heart, balance. Release any drama in your life. Fully love yourself the way a king of cups loves, and this will find you. But just try to leave the drama here. And what you feel, you want balance in your life. Where you've been juggling and maybe burning the rope at both ends, you want that balance in your life. Work, play balance, family, you balance relationship you balance like you there's always got to be an equal balance for yourself and what you want to shine you want you want your soul to be happy you're going to take care of yourself during this time make yourself a priority create your own abundance for your soul allow yourself the meditation throughout the 8 8 portal but also beyond the 8 8 portal like i said in other readings if you have children and you do not you feel like you do not get that second by yourself go to the bathroom shut the door and while you're on the toilet listen to meditation take those deep breaths get mentally grounded finish what you're doing and then get back out there and take care of business just ground yourself. And what you're going to do, you're going to leave the negativity and the drama behind. If you have friends that are going through an addiction, that are negative, um, that might be narcissist, that are so go to, codependent on you, love them from afar. And give thanks for the relationships in your life. Give thanks for the ability to make choices and decisions where they need to be made. Because lovers is definitely union, but it's big decisions being made. But allow, like love yourself so much that the person coming towards you loves you just as much. Even when it's with friendships. And family, love yourself so much and see the uniqueness within yourself so the person coming towards you treats you and feels that for you. Embrace the relationships that are in your life, the people that you truly consider home. Give thanks for them and embrace them and nurture them during this time. Should be always, but, you know, sometimes things are just a day that's sucky and, you know, the exchange just isn't as loving as, as it should be. Seven of Cups. Like I said, you're going to have a lot of responsibilities and choices and doors opening. But be thankful those doors and the choices are there because you're making the right choices. Why? Because you're manifesting it. Your desires and your goals. You're making shit happen from this 8 day portal reading on out. All right, Sagittarius. And then let's see what else. Final messages for my Sagittarius is for this 80 portal. For this 80 portal time. Again, nurturing the relationships that are around you, putting yourself around the people that truly make you a priority and that you have the same feelings for them. Here's manifesting. 
What would be ideal is if you manifested eight minutes a day, every day of your life. What would be ideal is writing down and journaling every day things that you want to change and the new beginnings that you want to start. But manifested during this time of the 8A portal, the equal give and take in relationships, paying you forward when you can, raising the vibration of energy around you, saving where you need to save, even if it's like a dollar a day, a dollar a day, just try to start saving and creating that nest egg for yourself or save for something that you save for something that you truly want that you've never been able to, you know, that you've always made it a dream of yours, traveling, buying a car, buying that new home, start saving now. And like I said, surround yourself with people that truly love you. Create your inner, make your inner child happy again. Be very playful and just have fun with the connections that are truly home to you. But there also might be people, for those of you that are single, there is offers coming in for you. So remember, love yourself. Give yourself that sacred space within your soul so that the, the right love, the, the love that you truly desire comes to you and gives you exactly the love that you love yourself with. All right, Sagittarius, but get drama out of your life during this time. Embrace the love and the union of your significant other, of your siblings and your friends and your family. Embrace it and make the decisions to walk away from the drama and the stuff that is no longer meant for you. Allow this passionate new beginning, this transformation within yourself to happen because you, by, you're going to shine. For some of you, it might be your own business, your own career path that you're starting on. All right, Sagittarius, let me know how it resonates. What are you truly manifesting during this 8 8 portal? If you tell me, I will tell you. All right, love and light. Have a great week.